guys, so the other week, I took my kids to the Grove to ride the train. I was kind of feeling like super mom. This is fun. I was two on one, the kids were having a blast, and then Ford had the blowout to end all blowouts. That is poop. I was so ill prepared. Why do I not have a change of clothes for Ford? We had to go home, and so I vowed to get my car organized. Here we go. I'm Elle, and I'm passionate about filmmaking and finding ways to be a great mom. First, I should say that I am not the most organized person, which is why I'm doing this. This is my car before. Presley, it's messy. Help me. So first, we started out by washing it. Wow. I've convinced Presley this is fun to do. And I always make sure they vacuum the back and then like inside Presley's car seat. Look how clean. So then I ordered this trunk organizer on Amazon, and I feel like I feel like you could just use a cardboard box, but buying something kind of holds me to the organization part. So my item number one is jumper cables. I know this isn't mom related, but oh, they have saved my butt this year and not the short kind, but these are like, these are like really long. Um, so if you're stuck like in a weird position, <laughs> of course, a change of clothes for each of my kids. Learn the hard way. Two diapers for them each and wipes. Just like wipes for their face. Can't ever have too many wipes. And then in the side pocket here, have a little mini first aid with a cold pack, gauze and ointment, um, band-aids, saline solution, and wet ones. Wet ones are just general. This will occupy Presley for an entire dinner at a restaurant. And I have this little thing for Ford with the baby faces, which is really into right now. Granola bars, water, uh, a towel. Then I'm gonna roll up and use for spills or if they get cold. Ta -da, it looks like lip gloss, but it is actually a flashlight. Come to think of it, I should probably keep lip gloss in here. Plastic grocery bags, they charge you now in California for these. I always forget them, not today. Okay, and then 20 bucks, because if you're at a store and you forget your wallet, you can at least get the milk that you need, okay? All right, so this is what it looks like. <laughs> I'm not doing it justice. I also got a trash bag that's specific to the car because that's where I usually put the trash and so we'll see if this works. I give this like a 30% chance of succeeding, but we'll try. Last but certainly not least, I'm so excited I found these. This is one of the last gifts that Connie ever got for me and it is a key finder. I have lost my keys so many times and ironically, I lost this too until I just found it. Oh yeah. This is something I've always thought, oh, I should have that. And of course, leave it to Connie to actually buy this for me because I really need it. All right, that's it. Let me know if you guys have any must-haves for your car. Also, just want to let you know that we will not be posting next week because it's going to be like our spring break. Meg and Brooke are traveling, and then my sister is getting married this weekend. So Press is the flower girl, and Ford is the ring bearer. I'm so excited. So we will see you in two weeks. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Bye.